lucky to have two beautiful daughters, Elisha and Jenna. All right. And I'd say that Elisha is definitely one of our favourites. From the day she was born, she's, been, she's made us both immensely proud parents. That's me and Sue. She has blossomed from a scrawny, chatty little girl into the most amazing, beautiful, stunning woman. Yeah, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah, you never know, shut up. Alicia, you've made Sue and I the proudest parents, and I see you achieving more and more as the years go on. Especially now that you are married to all. Yeah. And the way you complement each other is just perfect. One gets stressed and the other is just chilled. Guess, who, guess which is which. <laughs> I'll tell you now about the first time that Alicia first introduced us to Oliver, or Tids as he was known back then. Tids. About 10 years ago, they've been together that long, we were having a barbecue at our house, and Alicia came through the back gate with this young, cheeky looking, quiet lad said hello and proceeded to tell us that she was taking him up to her bedroom <laughs> to prepare a speech. Now I can only presume that this was in fact what they were doing and no hanky panky was involved. We obviously didn't know back then that this was the man that Alicia would be sitting next to uh, today, planning the rest of their lives together. But we couldn't be more proud, he has turned out to be the perfect partner for Alicia and all his cartilages absolutely love him to bits. All right, calm down. A couple of years later, Oliver moved in with us and it was like having the daughter I'd always wanted. <laughs> and when he came and asked our permission to marry Alicia, Sue and I were over the Fleming moon. It is a short word. Easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realising that every hour, every minute, and every second was worth it because you did it together. I, Oliver Jordan Fleming Moon. Take thee, Alicia Jane Cartledge. Take thee, Alicia Jane Cartledge. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to laugh with you in joy. Grieve with you in sorrow. Grow with you in love. Grow with you in love. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. And to cherish and respect you always. And to cherish and respect you always. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as an outward sign. As an outward sign. Of the commitment we are making to each other. As the commitment we are making to each other. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bit wrong. I give you this ring in celebration of my love for you in celebration of my love for you and as a pledge to respect you and as a pledge to respect you and to grow with you for the whole of my life and to grow with you for the whole of my life Can I just say that honestly today you look absolutely amazing um, Absolutely amazing, she's absolutely blown me away. Genuinely, the majority of you will know I do not cry at anything. I was almost going right at the front there, which is a lot for me. <laughs> almost. It's a big word. I can honestly say though that after 10 years of being together, she still surprises me every day. I fancy her more and love her more each day, and I honestly couldn't be happier. realise that being in a relationship is about companionship as well as showing love and affection, although having a nice bum does help. <laughs> but in all seriousness, she's made my life the best it could be and I wouldn't change it for the world. But please can I have a standard ovation. <laughs> and a toast to the most beautiful person in the room, Alicia.
It's honestly surprising how far we've all come from college, considering how much messing around we did and the fact that we crammed two years worth of assignments into the last two weeks. We all came out with top gr <laughs> That's sarcastic, was it? Yeah. <laughs> we've not got to it yet. Jesus. We all came out of top grades though, and it helped all get his dream job, working at Spoons. <laughs> You wouldn't believe the amount he talked about it. It was, <laughs> it was as if no one had ever pulled a pint before. He regularly told us about the ideal angle a glass should be held to serve the, the perfect pint. I'm always surprised we stayed friends with him. And I don't think he ever served us when we were 17. I mean, what sort of mate is that? Look at him now, eh? All grown up with a proper job. Although I'm not sure how serious you could take a man with the body and height of a toddler coming to arrest you. In all seriousness though, we'd just like to say a big congratulations. It's not often you get to watch two friends marry each other, so thank you for inviting us all and letting us be a part of your big day. You've been together 10 years already and have made so many memories, and now you get to carry on as husband and wife making many more. I hope you continue to make each other happy and take the time to remind each other of the love you have every day. We wish you all the happiness in the world, and if we could raise a toast Yay! to all in Alicia. Yay! Oh, and all, one last thing. I said you were simply the best. Well, this is how much I mean it. Boiling.